Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you my favorite top 10 WhatsApp tips and tricks. If you use WhatsApp, you'll wanna see these. To jump around this video, feel free to use the timestamps down below. Let's check these out. Tip number one, you can share your live location with others. You know, I could try to describe where I am right now, but that's gonna take a bit of time. Instead, I can share my live location. In a conversation, click on the plus icon, and right here, you see the option to share your location. When you select that, you could pick how much time you want to share your location for. Now, for me, it's gonna take a lot longer than 15 minutes to get here, so I'll go with eight hours. And now my location is being shared. To review all of the different people who I'm sharing my location with, I can click into settings, account, privacy, and then live location. And right here, I can review everyone who has access. Once I'm all done sharing my location, I can simply click on stop sharing. Tip number two, you can use WhatsApp on your PC. Now, most people associate WhatsApp with a phone app, but if you spend any amount of time sitting in front of a PC, you could use it either on the web or as a desktop app. To use it on the web, head to the following web address. Once you log in, you'll have your full WhatsApp experience. You could carry on your group conversations, your individual conversations, except two key features are missing. You can't make voice or video calls. If you need those, you can also use the desktop app. To get the desktop app, head to the website right up above. With the desktop app, you have pretty much all the full functionality, and you can also make voice and video calls. If you spend any amount of time sitting in front of a PC, you'll wanna make sure you use these experiences. Tip number three will help you so you never miss an important conversation. Here, for example, I have a conversation that I wanna make sure that I go back to. Here, I can simply swipe to the side and I can mark it as unread. That serves as a visual reminder that I need to go back to it. Or let's say that I have an important conversation and I wanna leave it at the top of all of my conversations. Here too, I could also swipe on that message and then I can pin it. This moves that message to the very top of the list so I remember to go back to it. Now, let's say that there's maybe a request or a question within a conversation, and I wanna make sure that I respond to that. It could be very easy to miss it. Here, I'll click into a conversation, and then I can press and hold on a specific message, and then I can star that message. To get back to all of my starred messages, I'll click into settings, and then here's the option with starred messages. When I click on that, I can now review all of my starred messages. Tip number four, you can play a custom sound when one of your contacts messages you. This way, you know who sent you a message without even needing to look at your phone. That was my mom who just messaged me. In WhatsApp, click into a conversation, then click on the person's name. And right here, click on the option for wallpaper and sounds. Down at the very bottom, you can now set a custom tone for that individual. Unfortunately, you can't just choose whatever sound you want. You have to choose one of these preset options, but you do have a number of different options. Tip number five, you can also set a custom wallpaper for specific individuals. Here in the same location as setting the custom sound, up above, I can also choose a wallpaper. When I click on this, I could choose from one of these categories, or down below, I can also choose whatever image I want on my phone. I'll click into the bright category, and then I'll choose this background right here. I think that looks good. Now, when I go into the conversation, I see that background with this conversation. I can also set a custom background for all of my conversations. Down below, click on settings, then click on chats, and right here, let's click into chat wallpaper. And here too, I can select a wallpaper for all of my different chats. Tip number six, you can mute a conversation so you no longer hear any sounds or notifications when new messages come in. This is especially helpful if, let's say you're part of a group conversation and you're just not as enthusiastic about that conversation. 
Here in the chat view, simply swipe on a message, click on the ellipsis, and here you see the option to mute. You could select how long you want to mute the conversation for. Once you mute the conversation, you'll continue to see the conversation, but now you see this mute icon letting you know that it's currently muted. To undo this, you could simply go through that same flow again. Tip number seven, you can set messages to disappear after a certain amount of time. The benefit of this is you can free up space on your phone, especially if you end up sharing a lot of photos and videos. To disappear messages, click into one of your chats, then click on the person's name, then select disappearing messages, and now you can choose the amount of time for when you want messages to delete or disappear. Down at the very bottom, you can also set a default across all of your conversations. Another way to get there, back on the main screen, click on settings, then account, then privacy, and then disappearing messages. And here too, you can also configure an amount of time that you want to keep messages for before they're deleted. Tip number eight, you can set it so someone can only view a photo that you send them one time. So this way, if, I don't know, maybe you wanna share a photo of your cat, you can do that. Here, I've inserted a photo of a cat. When I click on this icon right here, it changes to a one, indicating that the recipient will only be able to view it once. Now, one thing to note before you go off sending photos of your furry friend, just keep in mind that it is possible to take a screenshot of the message, so it could go on to live forever. So just remember to use this with caution. Tip number nine, and this is a quick one, you can toggle on or off read receipts. When you read a message, the recipient will be able to see that you read the message, but maybe you don't wanna share information like that. To turn this off, click into settings, account, privacy, and right here there's a toggle to turn it on or off. Just keep in mind, if you turn this off, you also won't be able to see the read receipt from the other person who you're interacting with. Tip number 10, you can react and reply to specific messages in a chat. Within a chat, simply press and hold on a specific message. And here you have all of these different emojis that you can choose from. When you click on one of them, that'll attach it to the message. You can also reply to a specific message. Simply press and hold once again, and here you can reply. The benefit of doing this is you have all of the context of the message that you're replying to in your response. Now, I know we've gone through 10 tips, but I wanna leave you with two extra bonus tips at the end. Bonus tip number one. You can very quickly get back to any media associated with a conversation. So let's say that you share photos or videos or maybe links. You can scroll through the conversation to try to get back to them, or you could simply click on the name of the conversation at the top. And here you'll see an option called Media Links and Docs. When you click on that, you'll see all of the different media, documents, or links shared in that conversation. And up above, you can even filter based on the different content types. And bonus tip number two, you can take more control over your voice memos. When you press the voice memo button, it'll just start recording. But if you swipe up, this will now persist the recording. Here, you could pause it, compose your thoughts, and then resume your recording. Here, once you pause again, you can go back and review your recording before you send it. If you're unhappy with it, you can simply delete it, or once you're satisfied with it, you can click on the send icon. All right, well, let me know down below in the comments, do you have any other tips and tricks that you would recommend in WhatsApp? To request videos on this channel, click into the description and there's a form link that you could click on and you could request different topics. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.